Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. Let's continue our lesson in lecture 4 of 9. For lecture 4 of 9, we will discuss subtopic 5.2 composite functions. Learning outcomes for this lecture are to represent a composite function by an arrow diagram, find composite function and find one of the functions where the composite and the other functions are given. For definition, composite function is when we take the output values from one function and use them as the input values for another function. Let's look for the arrow diagram. Consider two functions fx and gx. We define f composite gx is equal to fgx, meaning that the output values of the function g are used as the input value for function f. From the diagram, it means that we substitute the value of x into gx. Then we take the output value of gx and we will substitute it into the function f. That's how we can find f composite g. How about arrow diagram for gfx? Similarly, g composite f is equal to gfx. Meaning that the output values of the function f are used as the input values for the function g. From the arrow diagram, we substitute the value of x into f. And the output value of f will be substituted into function g. That's how we find g composite f. Here is some notes for composite function. First, f composite gx is not equal to fx multiplied with gx. Between these two functions, it's not multiplied, but we use output value of g and then we substitute into function f. Next one, f composite f not equal to fx square because fx square actually means that fx multiply with fx it's not a composite function next f square x is not equal to fx bracket square actually fx bracket square is the same as the previous one fx multiply with fx then we have f square x equals to f composite fx. So this is the, the correct one, the correct statement. f square is mean that we find the composite f to f. Now let's look the example on how to find composite function. Example 1, if fx equals to 3x plus 1 and gx equals to 2 minus x, compose the a f composite g. We want to take output of g, 2 minus x, into f. Write at function g, f. 2 minus x, we substitute into function f. 3 times 2 minus x plus 1, expand 6 minus 6 minus 3x plus 1, so the answer is 7 minus 3x. For the second one, we want to find gfx. G is the vice versa from the previous one. We want to take the output value of F and then substitute into G. 
what is the value of function f? g 3x plus 1. We substitute 3x plus 1 into function g equals to 2 minus 3x plus 1. Simplify, so we will have 1 minus 3x. For part C, we want to find FG2. We already find FGX from part A. It is equals to 7 minus 3x. So when we want to find FG2, it means that we substitute x with 2. It will be FG2 2 equals to 7 minus 3 times 2. 7 minus 6 is equals to 1. Example 2. If fx equals to 2x minus 1, gx equals to 3x plus 1 and hx equals to modulus x plus 1, find the value a g f3. GF3 is equals to G in bracket F3. So we have to find F3. Okay, for the first step, substitute into function Fx. G 2 times 3 minus 1. G 6 minus 1. G 5. The value of 5, we will substitute into gx. Equals to set 5 plus 1. We will get set 6. The second one, b, f composite, hx. Take function hx. Equals to f modulus x plus 1. Modulus x plus 1, we substitute into function f. 2 multiply with modulus x plus 1 minus 1. This is the answer. The third one is hfx. How we want to do it? We substitute fx into h. H in bracket, fx is 2x minus 1. Substitute 2x minus 1 into function hx. Modulus 2x minus 1 plus 1. The answer will be modulus 2x. Example 3, given fx equals to 3 plus exponent negative 3x and gx equals to ln 3x plus 5. A, find fgx. You can write it as fgx. What is gx? Okay, you will get ln 3x plus 5. Learn 3x plus 5, substitute into function f. Simplify using the rules of indices. Simplify, you will get 3 plus exponent ln 3x plus 5 to the power of negative 3. Use the properties 3 plus 3x plus 5 to the power of negative 3. Change it into fraction so that the power will be positive. For the second one, part B, we want to calculate the value of x such that fgx equals to 4. 
we know the answer for the composite function. We take the answer from A. So 3 plus 1 over 3x plus 5 cubed equals to 4. We want to solve for x. 4 minus 3 equals to 1. 3x plus 5 cubed equals to 1. We can find the cube root of 1. 3x is equals to 1 minus 5 is negative 4. So your x will be negative 4 over 3. Thank you.